Are you feeling overwhelmed by endless photo files, struggling to keep track of your favorites, your edits, or those special shots you don't want to lose? Then stick around because in this video, I'll show you how to use color coding in Adobe Bridge to bring order to your photo chaos. It's simple, effective, and will transform the way you organize your photo library. And stick around to the end to find my added tip to help you master Adobe Bridge. Why use color coding? First, let's talk about why color coding is so helpful. Whether you're managing thousands of family photos or working on professional shoots, color coding gives you visual shortcuts to organizing your files. You can highlight your favorites, mark images that need editing, or separate finalized photos from drafts. For example, you could use red for photos to delete, green for final edits, and yellow for photos that need reviewing. Once you've got a system, navigating your library becomes so much easier. Step one, getting started with Adobe Bridge. Before we dive into color coding, make sure you have Adobe Bridge installed and set up correctly. So open up Adobe Bridge and switch to thumbnail view by selecting the little grid at the bottom of the middle panel. Then select the folder of images from the left in the folder area of the photo that you want to color code. My top tip is if you want to see all the folders below a whole folder stretcher, then go to view and show items from subfolders and all your photos will be there. And then if you want to hide the folders, go to view and untick where it says show folders and you are now ready to get started color coding. Step two, applying a color label. To apply a color label, first select an image or group of images. So click on a single photo or select a run of photos by clicking on the first image, then push and hold the shift key and then select the end photo to select run. To do a random selection of multiple photos, click the first photo and then press and hold the control or command key and continue to click on each photo. Then to apply a label, right click on the selected images and go to label in the menu, then choose the color that you want, red, yellow, green, blue, or purple. What you can actually do is you can use a shortcut to speed this up where red is number six, yellow is number seven, green is number eight, blue is number nine, and you can remove it with a zero. Step three, customizing labels. Do you want to make color labels even more personalized? Did you know you can rename them to match your own workflow? To do that, go to the Adobe Bridge menu at the top, go to settings and then labels and ratings on a Mac or go to edit and preferences, then labels and ratings on a Windows computer. Then you can rename each color to fit your system. For example, you could do red as delete, yellow as need reviewing and so on. This customization makes it easier to stick to your system and keep everything consistent. Step four, sorting by color labels. Once your photos are labeled, it's time to take advantage of Adobe Bridges sorting and filtering. You can in the filter panel on the left hand side, click on the color labels to display only photos with that label. So if you click on green or yellow, it will only show those. You could also sort your photos by label by going to view, sort by label. This feature is perfect for narrowing down your focus and working efficiently on specific categories of photos. Step five, combining ratings and labels. Do you want to go one step further? Then combine star ratings with your color labels for even more precision. You can use star ratings from one to five to rank your photos based on quality or importance. You could combine that with color labels to add context. For example, five star in yellow could be final edits, three star in green could be need retouching. This combo makes it easier to prioritize and manage large photo libraries. Bonus tip, use smart collections with labels. And here's my game-changing tip, create smart collections in Adobe Bridge to automatically group your photos by color labels. Go to the collections panel over on the left-hand side and select a new smart collection. Name your smart collection with whatever you want and then you need to select criteria. What we need to do is we need to go to label, and then what you need to do is write in whatever your label criteria is. So for me, red would be to edit, 
or it could be if I wanted to see yellow, it would mean social. So type in the text of whatever you've labeled each of your color coding to be. Then if you save your collection, an Adobe Bridge will automatically update when you add any other matching labels. This is perfect for dynamic workflows, no manual sorting required, and it will continue to add more photos to your smart collections as you continue to work on sorting your photo collection. Brilliant. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to using color coding in Adobe Bridge. This simple technique can save you so much time and help you stay organized no matter how big your photo collection gets. But what if you think you have a ton of duplicates in your photos? Well, check out this video next to find out all about my favorite deduplication tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.